Hello, everyone. I'm Jessica Schneider. I work at New York City's 92nd Street Y, the home of Giving Tuesday. On behalf of Giving Tuesday and Facebook, I want to thank you for joining us for today's webinar about all the latest Facebook features your nonprofit can leverage to raise funds this Giving Tuesday. This year, Giving Tuesday takes place on November 28th. Um, so over the next few minutes, I'm going to share a broad overview of the movement, some successes we've seen, and what we're expecting going to year six. Um, after my short introduction, I'll turn things over to uh, Elisa Cordacious and Noel West from Facebook. They'll both have lots of information to share with you about Facebook's various nonprofit tools, um, as well as some exciting announcements relating to Giving Tuesday. So with that, let's get started. Next slide. So as mentioned, I work at the 92nd Street Y. We're a 143-year-old community and cultural center on the Upper East Side of New York City. I'm in our Belfer Center for Innovation. So for most of our organization's history, those past 143 years, we've served a very local community. But our center is charged with taking Nine to Wise mission and expanding it outside um, our neighborhood through national and even global initiatives. We run a number of different programs, but our largest and the really one that really informs all the work we do is Giving Tuesday. And we, we first had the idea for Giving Tuesday back in 2012. The ask was very simple. Plan an activation on or around the Tuesday after Thanksgiving to benefit a nonprofit. Similar to how Black Friday and Cyber Monday united the retail community, this was designed as a day for the philanthropic community. And from the start, it was completely free and open, cause agnostic, platform agnostic, um, we set a modest goal of 100 organizations participating our first year. Ultimately, 2,500 partners ran Giving Tuesday campaigns. Um, but more than that, we saw creativity and collaboration, experimentation, just a lot of excitement from the social good sector about the potential for Giving Tuesday. And now jumping ahead, um, November 28th is going to be our sixth year. And what started as a very simple idea has turned into a truly global movement. It is a day every year when millions of people come together to support and champion the causes they believe in. At its heart, Giving Tuesday demonstrates how every act of generosity counts and how they mean even more when we give together. Next. So here are some very high level numbers for Giving Tuesday 2016. That $177 million um, from over 1.6 million gifts. That's just looking at online giving in the US the 24 hours of Giving Tuesday. It doesn't include offline gifts or Giving Tuesday campaigns that were longer than one day, pledges made by board members, uh, corporate gifts. So this number is definitely not reflective of all Giving Tuesday donations. Um, and, but in the next slide, you'll see um, one reason we like to track um, our, sorry, next. One reason we like to track this number um, is to see year over year what, what our growth is like. Um, and we went from 116 million in 2015 to uh, 177 million last year, and we're just really excited to see where we end up this year. We're already hearing about lots of exciting Giving Tuesday campaigns, um, campaigns including from Facebook, which we'll hear about momentarily. Next. So donations are a huge part of Giving Tuesday. It's why many of you have tuned in today. Um, we love it that uh, nonprofits use Giving Tuesday to make money for the organization, support the work that you guys do every day. It's really, really crucial. But I just want to be clear that not all Giving Tuesday campaigns center around dollars and donations. There are so many ways people give their time, their voice, even the traditional fundraising campaign. We encourage you to think about if there are additional ways to engage your donors to spur advocacy or volunteerism. So this is just uh, the image you see as part of a large, larger infographic we created to illustrate just a tiny, tiny fraction of people giving time or expertise, food, clothing, um, or just simple acts of kindness on the day. Next. So Giving Tuesday is about uniting communities. Um, last year, and kind of in the wake of the election season, we saw organizations and people really embrace Giving Tuesday and the idea that giving is this universal value, that giving um, demonstrates the underlying goodness in people. Uh, so I always say there's no right or wrong way to celebrate Giving Tuesday, but I will say that nonprofits that embrace this celebratory philosophy, this idea of unity, did very well on, on um, that day. Next. And one of the most um, heartwarming manifestations of that theme of community and collaboration are the Giving Tuesday community campaigns. Last year, organizations, businesses, schools, governments uh, in over 80 city, states, and counties came together on Giving Tuesday. Everywhere from very small communities, like you can see Bethel, Alaska, and Newton, Kansas, 
to large um, statewide campaigns in Illinois and city campaigns in Brooklyn and um, Charlotte, for example. Uh, you can see a, a list of all of these on our website. We're happy to connect you with your local community leader. Um, if there isn't um, one where you live, you can step up and be that force. You can build that coalition where you live, create some um, local community momentum and excitement around Giving Tuesday. And we have someone on our team um, who just supports our community leaders and getting these efforts off the ground and with goal setting and team building and all of that. Next. I want to mention quickly that um, we also have Giving Tuesday activations. Last year, we were near nearly uh, 98 countries. Sorry, we were in 98 countries. Uh, and this include uh, included full-fledged country movements um, in about uh, 25. This year, we are expecting full-fledged country movements in um, 40 uh, countries around the world, which is amazing. Uh, it's just really powerful to know uh, in these places that do not have a tradition of Thanksgiving or Black Friday or Cyber Monday, that, um, but we're all still coming together to give on that day. And I think just knowing that when you give to your local nonprofit, when you go and donate blood, when you, you know, donate a winter coat, that someone on the other side of the world is doing the same thing in the spirit of Giving Tuesday. That's a really powerful message to be sharing with your donors and members and uh, other members of your community. Next. So Giving Tuesday is a hashtag, um, and that's a very deliberate choice. We believed in the beginning and now have the data to back up the claim that people want to talk about positive things on social media and things that matter to them. Uh, Giving Tuesday always trends and we see a halo effect the days before and after. This year we had trended ahead of Cyber Monday for all of Cyber Monday. So it's really powerful to see people discuss philanthropy and other giving on social media in an intentional and meaningful way and then how that conversation can drive donations. Um, you shouldn't feel intimidated. You might not have a big celebrity involved with your organization, um, but think about who your engaged followers are and who can lend their voice. And I know that um, Elisa and Noel will, will talk more about this um, later in the webinar. Next. Uh, we really encourage um, ownership and creativity around Giving Tuesday. We love to see nonprofits, for-profits, take the hashtag, take the logo, really make it their own. You are welcome to do whatever you want with it. Um, we're always floored every year with what people come up with. Um, one of my favorite examples you'll see on the slide is uh, Dress for Success every year does Giving Shoes Day as a way to um, get women to donate professional shoes um, to their organization that will be used in interviews on people's like, when they're starting new jobs um, or donate money so that the nonprofit can buy the shoes themselves. Um, the campaign's been running since the beginning of Giving Shoes Day. And last year we saw another Giving Shoes Day pop up, you'll see right below it, which was um, at a rehabilitation center um, working with uh, children who have some disabilities, um, who work with horses there. And it was a campaign to buy new horse shoes for the winter. So just a really fun example of taking the Giving Tuesday hashtag, making it your own, um, and we really encourage you to do that. Have fun. It should be a, a celebratory day and, and using social media to do that. And on the next slide, I'm just going to end by mentioning social media is huge, but of course there's already there's also traditional media. We had over 9,500 media hits last year in the top 100 markets, many more in smaller markets. The vast majority of these, of these stories weren't driven by our Giving Tuesday team here at the 92nd Street Y. They're driven by nonprofits like yours. So plan ahead and get, get out there and tell your story. Um, we want Giving Tuesday to be owned by the organizations and the people it's comprised of. So we have some resources on our website, sample press releases, um, you know, how to pitch yourself to local news. Uh, but please do reach out to us um, if there's anything we can do to be supportive, if you need quotes, if you want to toss around ideas. Um, we love it when we just you know, open up the paper and we see a story about Giving Tuesday that we didn't know was going to be there, but it's been driven by one of our nonprofit partners. So um, last slide, I'll just say if you're new to Giving Tuesday, I highly recommend visiting our website. There are lots of resources and tools, tons of case studies, really everything you need to start planning your campaign. You can sign up to be listed on our site, uh, start receiving our newsletter. We also have a blog and we're always looking for campaigns to highlight. So please feel free to submit through there. Um, it has all the information on the site that you'll need. Um, I'm gonna turn things over to uh, Lisa from Facebook. Um, she has lots of best practices, product updates, um, and some exciting announcements to share with you. 
Thank you so much, Jessica. And thank you to 90 Second Why for creating this phenomenal initiative. It's been a great six years. Excited to see it continue to grow, uh, not only within the U.S., but also internationally. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Elisa Cordacious. I'm from the Social Good Partnerships team at Facebook. Uh, my job essentially is to help Facebook better serve nonprofits and amplify their impact across the world. I sit between our partnerships team and work specifically with nonprofits and liaison to our product team to ensure that we're building tools that nonprofits are excited to use on our platform. I'm joined by my colleague, Noelle West. And Noelle is one of our amazing nonprofit marketing specialists. She's going to dig into a lot of the details on our products and how to get ready to jumpstart your strategy for Giving Tuesday this year. Agenda for the day. It's packed. First, we're going to do an overview of all the charitable giving tools available for nonprofits on Facebook, and then a quick run through on how to use each of them. Then we'll cover some general steps that should, you should think about as you prepare to giving, for Giving Tuesday. Many of you have likely started to think about this already, and we know it's digging into November at this time, but we did want to share some planning tips related to each product that we have available on Facebook. Last but not least, we're going to cover special things that Facebook is going to do to support nonprofits this Giving Tuesday. I'm excited and thrilled to announce that uh, this is the second year Facebook will be partnering with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, Facebook and the Gates Foundation have partnered in the past for many different initiatives, and this year with Giving Tuesday, we're going out with a bang. In collaboration, we'll be matching up to $2 million of funds raised on Facebook for nonprofits. And of that, Facebook is also waiving all fees for donations made to U.S. nonprofits on the platform during the entirety of the day. Donations to nonprofits made through charitable giving tools on November 28th will be matched up to 50 k per nonprofit, or $1,000 per fundraiser or donate button, until the $2 million match funds run out. We're doing this to ensure that the match is reaching a broad spectrum of nonprofits, both on the East Coast and the West Coast. And we're so, 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 so thrilled that uh, this is a much larger match than last year. And for those of you that aren't already taking advantage of our charitable giving tools, you can go to facebook.com slash donate slash sign up and start the onboarding process. Onboarding process is quite simple. Uh, you need to have a nonprofit page that's verified. You need to sign our community standards, which is a simple terms of use. You also need to have your bank account ready and also your executive director's birthday in order to cross-check identification with our compliance team. Luckily, this process only takes about a week turnaround, but I highly recommend if you haven't already uh, taken advantage of our charitable giving tools, you go straight to this page uh, so you can uh, jump on board for this year's Giving Tuesday initiative. And with that, I'm going to kick it over to Noelle. She's going to give an overview of the charitable giving tools that we have available today. Thanks, Elisa. Um, I'm just going to give a quick overview of all the tools that are available for you to use to fundraise um, on Facebook this Giving Tuesday and in general. Um, and then we're going to get into the nitty gritties of how to use them and what you can get out of them. So these are the tools that your nonprofit can use to collect donations. Um, there are a couple options where you can send donors to the website of your choice. Um, if you are onboarded, the tools that you can use to collect donations directly on Facebook include your page header donate button, page posts, and live video. We also have tools that allow supporters to fundraise on your behalf. So this means that once you're onboarded, supporters can choose your nonprofit and they can create either a donate button, a fundraiser, or use live video to fundraise for you. And this is a great activation that you can use if you have an active community who wants to support you. This is a little bit of what the onboarded Facebook donation tool looks like for the um, donor. So you can see that once clicking the donate button, they have donation options. If they've already donated before, they can select from a credit card that they have on file and then make a donation really quickly and easily without leaving Facebook. And this is one of the biggest benefits to being um, onboarded to our charitable giving tools is it's very easy to give. This is a little bit about what the donor sees when they go through the process. They're, um, they're told what's shared about their data. They um, are notified that these funds are unrestricted. And then they have the option to um, opt into emails from your organization if they so choose. 
The donor then is also given a donation receipt. It's emailed to them. It's emailed to whatever email they have associated with their Facebook page. So um, that's a good thing to note if someone comes back to you wondering um, how they how they get their receipt. And then also, if they are wanting to uh, retrieve their donation receipt later, they can go to their page and go to their page settings. And then um, from their page settings, um, this is a little demo of how to do that, um, you can go to payments. And then once you click into payments, you can then see donations that you've made through Facebook. And clicking on any of these donations will take you to the details. And then you can also print the receipt for that donation right there. And every person can do this from their Facebook page. As far as customization for some of these donation tools, you can reach them in um, your page settings. And if you go to page settings and then you click donations, um, it'll take you to the settings tab. And what you can control here is the donation amounts that, that people see. And you can also have the ability to turn on and off the ability for your supporters to create fundraisers or use donation posts on your behalf. So you have the control settings um, right here. Nonprofit page admins, you have the ability to create some reports based off of donations that are made to your page. Here's a little example of that. So in the publishing tools, you can go to the donation settings and then you can download your donation reports. There are two types of reports. You can get a payout report or a transaction report. Here's a few more details about these admin reports and what's included. Um, so you get the donor name, amount donated. If they opted in, you can get the email address. Um, and these reports are available 48 hours after a donation is made. One important thing to note is that your page must accrue at least $100 to be eligible for a payout. And once it meets the $100 mark, then um, that's when a payout will be triggered. Um, and again, like Elisa said, all of these features are only available if you've applied to use our charitable giving tools. And you can do so at facebook.com slash donate slash sign up. But it's important that you get the process started now if you do want to use any of these tools for Giving Tuesday because the process can take about a week to get through. So with that, I'm going to let Elisa go a little bit more into the details of each tool that you can use to fundraise this Giving Tuesday. Thanks, Noelle. So let's dive deeper into our fundraising tool functionality and think about it with the hat of Giving Tuesday coming up. Um, each of these tools are both utilized from a nonprofit perspective. So there's some features that you as a nonprofit can control, but also as uh, thinking about your supporters and your donors. Facebook's strength is really in numbers and its scale and its reach and the virality and the storytelling of wanting to uh, talk about something you care about and share it with your friends and family. And so as such, we've created a few products that really capitalize on the user experience. Um, and the nonprofits might not have as much control over it, but it is so exciting to see that organically happen. So let's, without further ado, jump in. This is a nonprofit page. Um, on a nonprofit page, you have an option to create a donate button CTA. Uh, at the top of the header. If you see on the right side there, that donate button does not redirect to your own site off of Facebook. It actually does the entire donation process and flow in Facebook, with, which helps with conversion. It helps with your supporters still engage with the process and the sharing within Facebook, and hopefully um, has them post their excitement that they just donated to your cause to their page, and as such, bring in their family and friends. So to add this button, you just need to go to your nonprofit page as an admin. You need to select add a button and then hover over and select the edit button. You can also add a donate button to your posts as a nonprofit. What you would do is the nonprofit admin would go into their composer on the actual nonprofit page, type content for your post. Uh, try to be as specific as possible for your ask and call out what these funds are being used for. In this post, you can add images, you can also add videos, uh, and as such, you can just attach a donate button to the actual post. I suggest pinning the post to the top of your nonprofit page. That way, it's the first thing people see, and it's the first thing people want to act on. They see your story, they see your image, they see your call to action, and instead of just sharing it, they actually can contribute right there on the spot um, and then share. 
This is what it would look like on mobile. We see a ton of conversion and a lot of use cases of folks scrolling through their newsfeed on a typical morning, checking out birthdays, doing their thing, and then boom, they can see this post that you as the nonprofit have created and they can donate right there. So tips for using the donate button, I started to talk through this, but first and foremost, really test early and test often. Think through what your actual content strategy is. Bear that in mind with your call to action. Make it digestible. Um, and keep in mind that, again, users are probably looking at this most likely on their mobile phone. So there's no need to write an essay. Um, there are opportunities to do that perhaps in a different content strategy channel, um, but this should really be a storytelling hook and you should call out that there's an opportunity to donate within this post. Since these products are fairly new, um, it's just been a year since we've really broadened the suite of charitable giving on Facebook. Uh, you have to help us uh, encourage users to change their behavior and get excited to support you here. In addition to donating directly to your nonprofit page, your supporters can also add a donate button to their live videos. Uh, part of, as part of your Giving Tuesday strategy, it could be cool and really exciting for you to encourage your supporters or celebrity evangelists. To Jessica's point, you definitely do not need to have any celebrity influencers to make your Giving Tuesday strategy, strategy, strategy sing. However, it is nice to capitalize on the fact that they have uh, a very large megaphone and I'm sure care a lot about your cause. So we have found a lot of uh, public figures and influencers and celebrities have been drawn to going live and adding a donate button because it really brings their fans into the fold as to why they care about um, this specific uh, nonprofit. So the instructions are simple. It only takes three clicks from a mobile device. Uh, supporters can go to their status composer. They click go live, write their description of the live, what they're doing, where they're at, why they're doing it, include a hashtag Giving Tuesday, of course. Um, and then they add a donate button by selecting the nonprofit that they're raising fund for, funds for in the charity selector, as you can see in this third um, mobile phone product map right here. Um, and with that, they just click go live. They can go live for as long as they want. I suggest going live for at least five minutes. Uh, that way people can actually get a moment to join your broadcast. When folks go live for 30 seconds, it doesn't give a lot of people an opportunity to actually see uh, what's going on, let alone enough uh, heads up to actually give a donation as well. One thing I'll highlight here, similar to the donate button on your page header, um, people donate directly through the live feed uh, and they do not bounce out of Facebook. Everything is still through Facebook payments um, and after they donate, they're brought back into uh, the live broadcast. Okay, so tips for donate button in live. I already alluded to a few of these, but schedule ahead and promote. Make sure that people are, are that uh, the broadcaster is interacting with their audience. They can go live often and go live for a while. Um, the broadcaster, the person that is going live, could even offer a milestone match. So I went live one time and I said, hey, if I raise $100, then I'm going to jump in this pool and have hot sauce for the next 30 minutes. And then, of course, everyone that was watching it weirdly wanted to see me do that. And then I was able to double that impact and raise over $100. So the cool thing with going live in the donate button is you can see the aggregate amount of funds coming in in real time. So you really can interact with your viewers. Uh, similarly, you could reveal a special experience. So, I mean, to some of my friends, they thought that was a special experience. I didn't think so. Um, but for the celebrities in the room, um, one time we had Tom Hanks go live and he uh, offered free movie tickets and uh, some sort of special exclusive one-on-one um, -on -one event with the highest donor uh, that contributed during his live. So things like that are really encouraging and again, interactive with your crowd. Um, but most importantly, be authentic. There's no need for your supporters to go live um, just for the sake of going live. They really should kind of show why they care about your cause, um, why they're excited about being a part of Giving Tuesday and what this means to them. Uh, Facebook is a platform about storytelling, and so this is a really interesting and vulnerable place where they can kind of bring out their true colors. 
Uh, and then finally, I can't call this out enough, but again, our charitable giving products are uh, new and continue to build into 2.0 versions. Uh, with that said, some people are still learning that donation products exist on Facebook. So the more people can call out that there is a donate button there and that's the call to action, uh, the better. Okay. Um, so in addition to going live, your Giving Tuesday supporters can also create a fundraiser on behalf of your organization. This is a way for supporters to show their commitment to a longer term crowdfunding campaign aspect as opposed to just adding a donate button or just going live for 30 seconds, no, 30 minutes <laughs> uh, in that moment. So fundraisers have a time frame, they have an end date, and they have a set goal. The goal can be adjusted as milestones are hit. We suggest folks start on the lower side um, and then as they hit those milestones, adjust and also make updates to the actual fundraisers, thanking their supporters, letting them know they reached this, uh, this goal and they're excited to double their efforts. Uh, the sharing capability of fundraisers makes this a really powerful way to raise funds. Um, when people create a fundraiser, they are prompted to invite their friends and family. Um, we suggest uh, inviting at least 35 people at the onset of the fundraiser creation gives a lift of about 6% for the funds raised. Um, and the cool part about this is, again, it's all just in platform. So every time that a friend or a family member is to post or to donate, those are opportunities for it to be published and highlighted in another person's newsfeed. Um, so we have been cognizant of this. We utilize notifications. Um, and we've seen great, great success for those super fundraiser folks that are passionate about being behind a crowdfunding type campaign um, as opposed to those quick little attachments. Uh, and with that said, one fun concept that we created last Giving Tuesday and we're excited to have capitalized on this Giving Tuesday is for nonprofits to have a unique customized URL that they can actually input into email marketing um, or even posts on the nonprofit page that goes to this immediate create a fundraiser landing page, as opposed to them having to kind of dig through your own nonprofit page and see your posts. This is a streamlined call to action. It's very clear um, and people know what they need to do. So once you are onboarded to our Facebook charitable giving products, um, this landing page is automatically created um, and it is synced with your nonprofit verified page. The URL is uh, quite straightforward. It's just www.facebook.com backslash fundraisers backslash your nonprofit page name. Um, and again, you can use this in a multitude of channels. Excited to see how you guys creatively think about plugging this URL um, and getting your supporters activated on Facebook. So roundup of tips to tell your fundraisers, invite at least 30 friends, as I mentioned. Um, post photos and videos. Um, photos of just text are fine. Of course, if they're authentic and full of the passion and the storytelling and the cause and the impact. Um, however, it is really fun to interact with videos and photos. We do find that people are drawn to them um, and in turn will contribute more to the fundraiser. Um, set milestones be authentic, get personal, and share updates uh, at least several times a week. Okay, and with that, I'm going to kick it back over to Noelle to dig into uh, Facebook strategy from a marketing standpoint and how you guys can jump the gun on getting started with your Giving Tuesday plans so you can have access to this amazing $2 million match. All right, thanks. I love this tag team that's going on right now. Um, so I'm just gonna cover quickly, we're on the home stretch here, just some Giving Tuesday strategy ideas. And I know many of you have probably already started thinking about this stuff, but just in case we wanted to walk you through what we've seen, help people create really successful um, fundraising campaigns. Mm -hmm. The first idea is, is that you, you really wanna like create a theme and a goal for your Giving Tuesday campaign. And, and what does this mean? It means just kind of coming up with a story around your, um, what you're fundraising for on Giving Tuesday, and then kind of creating the goals so that people can rally behind you and what you're trying to achieve on that day. And another thing with creating a theme is it can kind of give you the package that you use to create all the other collateral that you use to promote your fundraising campaign. 
And so what, what that can include is kind of thinking up the tangible items that you can assign to the dollars you're raising. And this can be just really helpful and being compelling and, and getting people to, you know, want to give to your organization because they can see what their dollars are turning into. And an example of that, a pretty basic one is, is you know, if you were a food bank and, and you knew that a cost, a meal cost you $1.25, then you can center your fundraising communication around how many meals you want to raise rather than how many dollars. And, and this just tells a little bit more like emotional, compelling story than saying, oh, please give us your money. It's like, no, you've raised your $20 is 16 meals to a person in need. And so spend a little bit of time, if you haven't already, thinking about the way that you can create a theme around how you're going to raise money this giving season and specifically on Giving Tuesday. And then when you have that theme, you can then begin to create the calendar around, okay, so how are we going to promote this? And, and, you know, really we're about a month out. So that's a perfect time to really make sure you start to talk about what you're doing on Giving Tuesday and um, lay the foundation about a month out. So give your supporters a heads up as to like what you're thinking about, maybe start talking about the programs that you are going to be fundraising for on Giving Tuesday, start talking about them more. And then as we get closer to the actual day, you're going to want to ramp up the amount that you're promoting. And so really the week before and the day before you can say, this is what we're doing. You want to let people know all the ways that they can participate in what you're doing. So if you are just doing, you know, a donate campaign or you're going live, you'll want to tell people to tune in. Or if you want to really activate your base to create fundraisers, you know, you can prep them a few weeks out to do so. And then obviously your calendar should include the day of. How are you going to rally and motivate and update people on the day of to really inspire them to give that whole 24 hours? Um, and then after you have a calendar, obviously you're going to want to assign like ma promotional materials to that. So, you know, what's the visual brand for this, this campaign that you're running? Do you want a slogan? Can you prep social graphics ahead of time that you can give your supporters to uh, promote your fundraising campaign? Are there emails that you want to send? Do you maybe want to record a short video with your ED or one of your program directors explaining what you're fundraising for, possibly even a testimonial from a beneficiary. Um, all of these things should be thought through in, in advance so that on the day of all you're doing and, and the week of, obviously, you're, all you're doing is sharing, um, promoting and updating, and you're not necessarily having to scramble to, to create assets for the day of. Another thing that we've seen some success with is enlisting early adopters. So this is really like, do you have anyone that can be your champion on Giving Tuesday that'll get your campaign off to a good start? So, you know, I would identify your maybe your top donors or your top supporters and reach out to them ahead of time to say, hey, will you kick us off on Giving Tuesday with a donation or with by fundraising or by sharing with your audience our campaign? And really trying to see if you can get people primed to support whatever it is you're doing on Giving Tuesday. Um, this just can help create momentum so that when people see your campaign organically, they um, see that it's off to a good start and they want to participate in it as well. All right, those are just a few of the tips we have for creating a successful Giving Tuesday strategy on Facebook. We have our resource website, donations.fb.com slash Giving Tuesday. There are a lot of resources and other information on there, so be sure to check that out. Did want to remind everyone that this Giving Tuesday, there's a huge opportunity here to take advantage of the $2 million matching grant um, that the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and Facebook are presenting. And lastly, I just wanted to thank the 92nd Street Y for having us here. And um, we're really excited to be a part of Giving Tuesday. We're always inspired by the creativity and generosity that we see from people using Facebook. And we're just excited to be able to help. All right, thank you so much, Noel, and, and thank you, Elisa. It's great to hear what Facebook has in the works this year to support the nonprofit community around Giving Tuesday. Um, if you want to learn more, again, that was donations.fb.com/slash Giving Tuesday. Um, you can also reach out to us at info at givingtuesday.org with you know general questions about Giving Tuesday, um, anything we could provide you with. Um, how to find logos, how to submit to our blog. Again, that's the best email to use for that. And just thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. We hope you found this presentation really helpful. On behalf of Facebook and our Giving Tuesday team here at 92nd Street Y, we wish you the best of luck with all your Giving Tuesday planning. We can't wait to hear about all the amazing things your organizations accomplished this year.